friend John McLennan here and in today's video I'm going to show you this classic horn line from Stevie Wonder's Sir Duke on guitar. I'm going to break down this whole lick for you step by step. I'm going to show you the frets that you need to play and just the way that I play it on guitar. It's, it's kind of a tricky line. A lot of musicians have trouble working this out but the trick is to understand how it's related to the B major pentatonic scale. The majority of the notes come right out of the B major pentatonic scale. There's a few chromatic kind of passing tones that give it kind of a bluesy vibe. So once you understand the scales and then of course the positions that I'm going to show you in today's video of how you can play it kind of across the neck, you're going to be able to fast track your playing with this lick and hopefully get playing it today. Before we get started though, I really appreciate you checking out the links below. I've got a free book all about soloing, so if you enjoy some of the things that I talk about in today's video, you're going to want to check out my book, Melodic Expressions, which you can download completely for free at the link below. If you want to support me, you can buy it on the iTunes bookstore for $20, or you can get a free copy down below. All right, well, with that said, let's break this song down. Let's break down how to play the horn line to Sir Duke on guitar. Now, this song's in the key of B and uses a lot of notes out of the major pentatonic scale. I'll play it for you first, and then I'll break it down. Here's what it sounds like. Three, four. All right, so we're going to start off. I'm going to break this down into sort of bite-sized pieces. I'm going to try and do one measure at a time or one phrase at a time. Some of the phrases are a little longer. We're going to start on the seventh fret of the low E. And I'll show you how I move up through the position. So B, B, then up to the eleventh fret, back to nine. And then 9, 11, 9 on the next string, the fifth string. Then we walk up our major pentatonic, our B major pentatonic pattern here. If you're familiar with this, some people call it position number two off of this root position. Here you've got. Those notes there, we're going to walk up, to that B note there. So all together, this first kind of phrase, which ends on the downbeat of measure two, sounds like this. Then we're going to walk up, use a little chromatic run which starts on the 11th fret of the 4th string. We're going to go 11, 12, 13. And what's happening here is we're doing that chromatic. Then we continue just up the major pentatonic. See, now I'm in this pattern. The next pentatonic pattern up, but I'm using a chromatic in the line. Then we have that chromatic again. It's up the octave. So we have these little themes throughout. It's everything so far. Then we slide up to the 16th fret on the first string, do another little motif. So that's alternating strings, one to two, we're going to go 16 and 16, then 14 and 14. Then we slide in and that's just like a bluesy lick going into the 11th fret of the first string, then walk down, pentatonic, then back up. So 
See, so you get little bits of the pentatonic scale and then it sort of jumps up and, and creates another motif. So, so far. This next lick is like a two bar phrase, but we're gonna break it down into smaller parts. Here's what it sounds like. So that's gonna slide into the 11th fret on the first string and we'll go. So that's walking down the scale again, creating little motifs, 14, 12, 14, 12, 13, 12. Then 13, 11, 13. Then we kind of hold there. So. And then. That's our next phrase there. So that's starting on the F sharp. We're gonna go 11, 13, 11. And then walk down the scale, and then back up, and then down. So that's 14, 11, 14, 11, nine. So those two phrases together, have the final phrase and this is cool I like to slide from a higher note and we're gonna walk up again that position two pentatonic we're gonna slide from 11 to 9 and then walk up all the way to this B root note here and then when we get to this note, we create another little motif. It's just like da 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 da. So just walk it down. And then the same thing. And the same thing. So all of that is in there. Then I end with an octave. That's a nine on the fifth string. 11 on the third string. All right, the whole lick all together sounds like this. One, two, three, four.